it comes as no surprise to me, but it appears Nintendo is just completely done with the 3DS handheld. It's been a wild ride. This thing's been out for over nine years now, and I've extremely enjoyed the 3DS, but they're focusing on the Nintendo Switch, and this kind of has been a given for well over a year now. Just looking at the retail space for the Nintendo 3DS, looking at the games that have been coming out, and how hard it is to get some new releases. My son wanted Yokai Watch 3. It took me forever. I had to wind up paying like $80 for that game for him. Just ridiculous, right? But the 3DS has been a system that I have enjoyed since day one. It had a very rocky start. And this is probably the one console handheld, whatever you want to consider it, that I've actually collected for. And I always say I don't really consider myself a collector. Like, I buy games that I want to play and then, you know... A lot of times I get rid of them if I'm just done with it type of thing and move on. With the 3DS, I just continued buying consoles, new versions. Occasionally I would get rid of a handheld. Like I didn't want to have like 20 of them. But everybody in my house really enjoyed the 3DS. We've all had one, 2DS, all the different iterations. And it was definitely a lot of fun. I mean, the last game I really remember being psyched up about was Metroid Samus Returns. I really enjoyed that game. But I've played so many awesome titles for this system. Yeah, there were some re-releases, Star Fox 3D, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, a lot of cool stuff. But how do we know, just besides seeing that stores don't sell 3DS games for the most part, like, they were clearancing out, like, the Nintendo Select stuff over the past year. I remember certain places, like, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, boom, you can have them. And they were just gone. They weren't really stocking anything else. And they didn't really have handhelds. And then recently, Walmart selling uh, new uh, 2DS XLs for 100 bucks with Mario Kart installed on it. it. It was just a given. These places trying to get rid of everything. And yeah, well over a year. Last Black Friday, I don't remember really seeing too much of anything out there even prior to that. But how do we know? How do we know? So the Nintendo 3DS has been completely scrubbed from the Nintendo US website. It is not on here advertised anything as the such. They're just promoting everything Nintendo Switch. The only mention of the new 3DS or the 3DS in general is for support. Like, obviously, they're going to support this thing for a while. It is down here, Nintendo 3DS support, if you need some support with that. But everything else is gone. Like, they don't have any advertisements. They're not producing these anymore. On the Japanese website... Once you take a look at any of the versions that they have listed and you scroll down, I have this translated to English because I don't read the Japanese, right? Everything has been listed as the production of the main body has been discontinued. So no longer being produced. And it was a long time this thing was out, over nine years. And like I said, there was a lot of cool stuff on it. And I know a lot of you guys out there enjoyed it as well. But when you really look at it, at the, the best-selling handhelds. I know this website lists the Switch as a handheld, and I get it, the Switch is a handheld, but I want to just I just want to consider things that weren't hybrid systems, just pure handhelds. I don't use the Switch as a handheld for the most part, but taking a look, the Nintendo 3DS, this is a little out of date, just a little bit, because I know some of these numbers are a little higher. Like, the 3DS should be closer to 75 million, I believe, but... Looking at these, this list here, it's crazy. The, the original DS, you know, yeah, there's a couple iterations of the original DS as well. It's all combined together here. 154 million of these were sold. That is nuts. And then down in fifth place, you got the Nintendo 3DS. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, 119 rounded up million units sold. PSP, 82 million. Game Boy Advance, 81 and a half. And then the 3DS at 72 75 million or so that's that's nuts i thought the 3ds did quite a bit better but that's still a success for them they made their freaking money selling all these games out there uh you, you know it, it it's sad to see it you know have been diminished over the past year or so but i i get it i mean they're focusing on the switch the 3ds it had such a rocky start i remember pre-ordering two of them um for myself and my wife, and, you know, she wanted, uh, what was it, Nintendogs, I believe. And, you know, she played it quite a bit as well. But pre-ordering those, I got them from GameStop. I still remember the specific GameStop I went to. We got them. One of them that I had, it had, like, dead pixels, like, on the, the I think it was the top screen. 
It's been over nine years, man. I can't remember specifics here, but I know it had dead pixels and we had to return it. Like after we got home, it's like, dude, this sucks, man. And they only had like a couple like set aside and they, they swapped it. So we were fine. Like the screen was fine on the next one, but that always kind of, you know, I'd buy a, a handheld and have to look at the screen very closely and make sure everything was good because yeah, our initial one, one of them had some dead pixels, but I think the biggest thing at that time, it didn't take off right away. It, it kind of lagged in sales because it was so expensive. People just weren't picking this thing up. And Nintendo lowered the price eventually. I don't remember the specifics. What was it, like six months later or something? Lowered the price and then to like say a thank you to all the early adopters. They put out the ambassador program. You got some Game Boy Advance games, all that good stuff. I still have all that on you know one of my, my uh, 3DSs. I believe I use one of the new 2DSs that I have my account on with the ambassador program on it. As you could swap around, like I think you could transfer like once a week to another console. And I've done that quite a bit over the years using different handhelds. I really like the um, the new 3DS, the smaller one with the replaceable face covers. Those ones I really enjoyed. Like I never had one until like the past year. The 2DS I really liked just because it was so much lighter and I just love the size and feel of it. The 3D was was something that I thought I was really going to embrace back then because I had, you know, 3D TV. 3D was like the big thing. There was 3D cell phones. I remember a friend of mine having one of those. Um, 3D TVs, 3D movies were a big thing for a while. And this was a product of its time. Let's do something gimmicky, have that 3D. And I'm going to tell you, honestly, the, the, the 3D was amazing. It was cool. It added to some games. But at the same time, yeah, it took a few iterations to where the eye tracking and all that stuff got put into place and it worked a little bit better, but I never was 100% comfortable using it. Not because my eyes didn't like like it. Like, you know, I wasn't getting headaches from using it. It wasn't a virtual boy situation or anything like that for me. It was just more of like having to hold it in a certain way and having a certain viewing angle. You know, I couldn't relax, like lean back and, and play it however I wanted and have that 3D, uh, you know, effect going on. So it was something that I enjoyed it, but then I stopped using it. So it was just more of a gimmick. They even started making games that just didn't use it at all. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I, I enjoyed the Dragon Quest games on there, all the Nintendo first-party stuff. I, I'm pretty sure I had to go through the stuff that I own, but I'm pretty sure I own every first-party Nintendo game for the 3DS, and it's quite a few games. Man, the one console, I can't believe, actually just thinking about it over the past day or two, I'm like, yeah, I guess I did collect for this system because I have a shit ton of games and a bunch of you know, consoles. I know I threw up a video showing some of my little, little bit of a collection. That's like nothing, just what I could fit on the table for now type of thing, right? But let me know, man. Did you guys enjoy the 3DS? Do you still enjoy it? What was your favorite handheld? For me, the, the DS was, was awesome. The 3DS I, I liked a lot because it was the next iteration. You could still play DS games on it. So that's probably, you know, one of my top. I did play a lot of the PlayStation Vita as well. Look at those numbers, man. 13 million. So sad with Sony dropping the ball. The Vita was an amazing freaking system. I know that's not what this video is about. The one thing with the 3DS, I wish it was easier to capture footage with. Like, I know there was the Katsu Kitty mod, and that's no longer made. And then I think there was another one that's hard to get and then you could use custom firmware and use some over the internet wi-fi to your computer to i don't know never worked for me that well but i wish there was an easier way i would be playing 3ds games on my channel all the damn time hanging out playing because there's just so many awesome games for it and to be able to like play some ds games on there as well i wish there was just a kit to consoleize the 3ds like i don't care about the 3d let me consoleize this bitch and play it on the TV, man. HDMI, bro. That's what I really wish. I know it's, you know, we've had those solutions, but I wish there was something more affordable and easy to get. Maybe down the road, people will uh, start working on something with that. Have to wait and see. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys hanging out, watching. Big-ass thumb up for you. I know I've been forgetting those. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.